Right now, the flu is hammering down on the nation. It's officially considered an epidemic and it's overwhelming ERs, even leaving 20 children dead. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is live at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete. Good morning, Izzy. Good morning, Jasmine and Lauren. Now, this year's flu season appears to have started earlier than normal and also more severe. I do want you to take a look at this map from the CDC. Notice those dark brown colored states. All of them have widespread flu. In fact, only Hawaii and D.C. aren't there yet. Now, I am joined by Dr. Juan Dumois. He is a flu specialist. And doctor, what are you seeing here specifically at, at the hospital? At our hospital, we're seeing a lot of sick kids being uh, presenting to the emergency room. Most of them are going home, but some of them are being admitted here to the hospital pretty sick. So is this something you would consider severe here? Yeah, it's pretty severe at this point. Okay, now let's talk the flu shot. That, that's the elephant in the room. We've seen the headlines, 10% effective. That has shocked certain people. We also know that H3N2 is a particular strain that has really taken off. But you're saying people don't really know exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> what do you want to tell them about effectiveness? The 10% vaccine effectiveness number we're hearing about is a number from Australia, their last flu season over our summer. And it was the effectiveness against just that particular strain, the H3N2, in their country. Now, we have some numbers from our season last year that suggest that the same vaccine against the same strain of flu was more like 35% effective. So we estimate that it's probably going to be better, more effective in this country than it was in Australia. Okay, so you're saying definitely worth it to get it real quick. It is because the vaccine effectiveness numbers you hear about don't tell you about people who've gotten the vaccine, get the flu, and may be less sick than they would have if they hadn't gotten it. Okay, thank you, doctor. We will return with him in about 30 minutes because obviously there is a lot to talk about here. Live in St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.